Hello. Hope you guys can hear me. Hey, Spirit Boosters. How y'all doing? Hello, new Spirit Boosters. Hey, you guys. Welcome. Welcome into the community. Thanks for joining. Hope you're feeling comfortable to just say hello or share emoji. Let us know you're in the community. Thank you very much for joining. Pick a topic you want to discuss. You have any ideas? You want to share a recipe? You found a food item? You finding food? Because guess what? It might be difficult for some. And for others, your store could have a lot of stuff now. But who knows what's going to happen in the future? Because guess what? I'm reading an article on the internet and is you know Amaritron Amarion will be one ba1 excuse me allegedly and i'm and now they have discovered put your seatbelt on get set i know this might cause some people to panic buy it ain't like it's already panic buying going on but anyway y'all they have discovered a omarion ba.2 and they say it's in a few other it's in a few countries and they say allegedly that it's been discovered out here in the USA allegedly and they say that this is fiercer and more infectious than the Armarium 1 BA1 if you guys have heard about this news please share with us other spirit boosters in the comment section don't forget to read the description where i leave topics so you guys know i might forgot to mention or something for discussion but you guys yeah so i might suggest you might want to you know continue stocking up stock like miss linda say y'all know miss linda over at um the prepper kitchen saying uh stack it to the rafters get all you need and especially i tell you share what's going on in your community not in your community as well as in your area and more you know other details you know other things going on yo you guys are amateur journalists but you're doing a great job you act like you prefer your pros when you go to these stores and you um giving updates on what's happening in these grocery stores a lot of grocery stores a lot of my spirit boosters on their channels they are sharing shelves are empty products are missing like i tell you i try to get milk pasta and some other things online and it's not there i'm gonna try and get me i'm gonna try and get a different kind of milk it might cost a lot oh my god seven dollars for what is a um half a gallon of milk whoa lord but anyway, back to the news. I know I went right past there, but I just had to share that and let y'all know when folks start finding out there might be a bigger dent because it's going to be a higher demand. And on top of that, the folks that some folks allegedly at the dist distribution centers are sick and they ain't putting out as much. And, my, and possibly if you got sick employees, you know, nobody's restocking shelves or because of the demand a lot of stuff is being sold out and um if people are sick they can't you know re um well oh, i'm losing my concentration they can't um at the distribution center uh, uh produce more in order to meet the demand because folks are going to stock their pantries whether some folks believe that there's a shortage or not because in a lot of areas it might not be affecting your area as you could possibly see you don't see what's missing or what's going or what's a shortage because what you're buying you is there ready ready for you some of you might be vegan some of you might don't eat meat or whatever so some things don't affect you but um our dairy some people don't do a lot of stuff that's in shortage or when you see these experience in these empty shells and these price hikes this stuff might not affect you because hey you might got live out especially in an area where you can hunt your food and stuff which is great because i haven't forgot about the people living on the ground because in my previous videos i used to speak about the folks under the ground you know they doing okay 
allegedly, I guess. Um, but things gonna change, I guess, if this new thing gonna go around, and uh, when soon as folks start find out, then, you know, it might be a little panic buying. But folks definitely is gonna be stuff is in high demand, like oil, eggs, milk, dairy. Well, let's say dairy products and uh pasta like i said some of you guys say you're not experiencing a shortage but that's okay I, like i said i'm looking at videos i'm t i'm looking at reading articles stuff is being you know it's, it's, it is in short supply and there's a demand for a lot of stuff and that's big reason why there's a shortage because folks are buying up stuff and stocking their pantries to the rafters <laughs> they are getting it just getting a simple can of beans as y'all see right there i got some pineapple yes i'm getting a little stuff here and there and you know i don't like paying more for this oil and it's hurting my pocket because of my situation what i'm going through my budget uh yeah i'm on a serious budget now but what thankfully you know i got a few items of food but other things you know tmi tmi but getting back to the business, I hope you guys purchase things, get fine food as much as you can, and you know, stock up as much as you can and as often as you can, because you don't know what the day might bring tomorrow or whatever about to go down. But like I shared in the beginning, Omarion, you know. I guess folks will start hearing about it sooner or later. And there are food recalls. I'm sure if you guys know of any food recalls, please share in the description box. Let Spirit Boosters know about food recalls, price hikes. I know some of you, you know, want to be, forget all about this pandemic issue and just want to share your recipe or what you're cooking how your day is going and everything like that and don't forget to like my video y'all help miss Janita's channel out because i'm trying to um create a budget on here some kind of i'm low budget i'm a low budget content creator and i appreciate all you guys coming through and liking my video and watching my video sharing your comments well wishes prayers and um all the stuff that you guys do i appreciate it and thank you for that support beautiful support beautiful it's so beautiful in this community thank you thank you thank you and thanks i want to um, welcome back some of my um uh, uh subscribers from a few years ago thank you for coming through and hollering at me i gotta <laughs> i gotta get to your channel i am behind on everything because like i said my situation i gotta care for my husband I got to care for myself. <laughs> I got things to do. And um, let me not even go in there because I don't want to sound like a complainer. But I got to, if y'all don't, y'all can't read mine. Y'all don't know what's going on. If it's not shared, if it's to be shared. But all I know is y'all stock up your, your pantries, get the necessities, get stuff that you can make from that will create meals from scratch, rice instant potatoes sauce stuff anything you know they have a long shelf life and and um you can get those mylar bags and those oxygen things remover that'll be great too a lot of you you know i know got some badass survival tools and supplies share some of that stuff in the community let folks know what you got going on i would love to hear about it and if you have a channel that you sharing all this kind of stuff please let us know so we can go check you out and like i said please don't forget to like the video and uh watch as much as you can help miss janita um uh, over here on my channel and i appreciate it and i'm trying to I, I am trying as best i can to get to each and every one of you guys channel i know like me i'm trying to i'm not trying i if I can put a video up every day or however I can do what I'm doing when I get a break I shall do it and I have to stop making these long videos because I know I got a memory card I got to preserve my memory card those things not cheap y'all and uh, I do appreciate y'all for coming through and supporting this channel 
But remember, the concern, the biggest thing that I'm sharing is y'all. Oh, just still stock up, you guys. Get the food before it's sold out. And if it's sold out, you might have to, um, especially online. Online ain't no joke. It ain't no joke, y'all. You thinking you go to the store and see everything sold out. Just check out your online store. Some of you might be in some areas where things are being stocked and everything. You got what you need. That's great. But in some for other folks there, food is being sold out and they having a difficult time finding stuff. So if I can um, encourage somebody or inspire somebody or motivate somebody to get up off their butt or get on the internet or if you have to re go out and find, go to a store, if, if I'm helping you make a decision, then I'm doing something, you know, that's important because you guys are making a difference in your home take care of your business making things do what it do so that you and your family can survive through these times because we don't know what's going to happen in the future or tomorrow or in the next hour you don't know like i'm sharing the news with y'all what the heck is out there in the street and hopefully i can get me some of those n95 masks because uh, i see on, on the online store they were selling them and I said, I ain't finna buy that. I'm finna go get those free masks. They supposed to be distributed at the uh, pharmacies and uh, health communities uh -huh, and uh, things like that. Y'all, it's early. Forgive me if I'm stumbling and everything like that and sound confused. And one thing else I want to share with you guys. This might help some people, but this is so crazy. And, and, and at the same time, ooh. I had to say, ooh, because did you, you guys did you guys know that they got that this company makes panties, and you don't have to wear a pad or a tampon or anything. You just put those panties on, and it soaks up your menstruation blood. If you guys heard about that panty, it's called Think. I think that's how you pronounce it, Think. And um, those panties, I was looking at it online. I seen the commercial on TV. And I'm like, what the heck? And then those panties are $35 e a pair. So I guess some women will, you know, will buy that product. Somebody, you know, about to make money. But I just will feel up being uncomfortable. They said these panties is thin too in the in the um crouch area. And it said a panty just absorb all your menstrual blood. You don't get no odor. You don't feel no dampness, no wetness. They got heavy flow, light flow. And you know stuff like that the panties you buy but they 35 dollars that's expensive they're gonna take a bunch of money to get you a dozen pair of those but they say you just wash them in the washer and then i think you uh hang them to dry you don't dry them in the dryer and you don't put no bleach and stuff on there but you do you can put them in the washer but you air dry them if you guys heard about these period panties let me know like i say you don't use no pad, you don't use no tampon, the panty just soaks up your menstrual blood. Now, if that ain't a be-all, I don't know what it is, but sounds like a survival uh, survival item for real. Ain't that a survival item? Hey, hey, that's cool. They had that for back in my day, especially going to um, school and everything like that. Junior high school, stuff in high school, they would have had that. Boy, you know, back then they had pads, didn't even have a plastic back. The the pad when you um it 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 didn't um it went right through on your drawers because it didn't have a protective uh, plastic coating back in the day. Allegedly, I believe that's how it was. And then they had the nerve to have a belt. You put it on with a belt. Boy, we had some times back in the let me see, was that the seventies? <laughs> They had some pads, didn't even have a plastic coat, didn't have anything to protect the uh, blood from running right through the pad. Boy, what a mess. But anyway, if y'all remember those, let me know in the comment. But I, I just had to share this with y'all. Y'all interested in them period panties? That's That seems like it's great for survival. If you got some panties that's going to soak up your menstrual blood, I don't know how long. Well, you, if you buy them panties, then you'll uh, know how long it'll last, how long you'll wear it, if you'll, how your menstrual cycle is. But, boy, if some of y'all heard of that and tried it, i like to hear. Is that stuff really work? If y'all know about that, share it in this community. I want to know. Boy. 
But anyway, what else I'm supposed to be talking to y'all? I know I went over my time. I think I have discussed enough stuff. But um, whatever y'all heard, you guys, journalists and reporters out there in the grocery stores or um, elsewhere, with giving us updates on these grocery stores and what's the heck going on in them. Thank you very much. You are doing so great a great job and it's important updates and information you guys are sharing don't let nobody tell you different but i'm gonna go ahead on and put this video up hope you guys uh don't forget to give it a like and oh you passy buys looky loos trolleys and visitors thank you very much for giving me a thumbs up okay i appreciate all and all the support that i'm getting today and any other day i do welcome it now i need to get out here because i drag on some time you guys because i'm trying to think i'm supposed to be telling sharing some with you guys and i'm trying to have it click in my brain as i'm dragging on with other little stuff i'm mentioning but anyway y'all see my little stockpile i got up here steady um bringing in little stuff here and there making sure i got things you know but if you guys are finding items before they got sold out or if you're experiencing stuff being sold out and snatched right out of your basket, are you experiencing people taking your items out of your basket in the grocery store? Are people fussing over the last piece of chicken wings? What the heck going on? Y'all seen extra y'all prices in the store? What's shocking you? Sticker price shock. Are your gas study going up, your t utility bills, share it all. Okay. But for sure, stay safe and protect yourself how you protect yourself. But I'm going to get out here. And uh, like I said, I'm going to, uh, as best I can, respond to y'all comments and go and check out y'all channels. Because when I get a break, that's what I'll be doing. Okay. And the tip is, remember, stay in survival mode. And especially get your food before it's all sold out.